Hey guys, it's Max Sinker from Convertible Turtle Gaming, and it is once more time again for Legend of Zelda Breakfast of the Wild. As you may recall, if you was watching last week, we were at the Yiga Clan Hadite, and well, my my inability to do some things kind of is getting the better of us. But have no fear, we're going to do everything we can, and I do mean that, everything we can to get this taken care of. And uh, since it's just me in this apartment by myself at the moment, with the wife sleeping, it's not going to involve us finding another person to beat this for us. take stock assessment again we have these four wonderful arrows that do us a little no good we have two really usable weapons hopefully we don't have to use them uh, let's see here we're put on the bun the shirt the pants we're gonna save here So as we make more and more attempts on this, we'll have less and less stuff to worry about. And who knows, maybe there'll be something inside the barrels this time. Nope. All right. Okay, guys. To a rolling bomb, nothing there. Torches, maybe if we go outside for just a brief second, we might find some friendly people to get some arrows from. And that's a big maybe. Boy, it sure would be nice if there's like a back door entrance to this place too, you know? But I think what we're gonna wind up with is me leveling up my stealth game. Oh! That almost just ended with not so much of a holy crud. I guess we're just going to wind up going in here and see what comes.
And it's really not so much the archers. The archers I can pretty well take care of. It's these guys with the big old sword that pretty much um, quote unquote piss in my breakfast cereal, guys. something up top here. <laughs> this was a nice thought. that guy will be distracted by my bomb. Yep, he was. I know we got some real helpful hints from Sega Fan 99 yesterday involving the bombs and, you know, that really not just the way that they're wanting to do this from what I can tell. So if anybody's watching this right now, I apologize. It's going to be a little bit on the boring side. And and by that, I mean it's going to be a little bit on the boring side. Because I'm, I'm trying to figure out what these guys' patterns are. I'm not really going to try to rush it as much. And yesterday, we tried to, you know, just blaze through it. And it's not really the way the level's built, in my opinion. Um, and my uh, ability to play these kind of games, not so much that way either. So, time to go bananas. So, now there's a guy over here. to go over there too.
that guy appears to be totally stationary. Whereas this guy is not. So we'll wait for him to move. And we'll start making our move. Found us another little safe spot here. So it looks like this guy. Pretty much on autopilot. turns around we're going to make our way back this direction Looks like I think that over there is our exit. So all we gotta do is make it around this dude. Oh, it'd be really cool if we had some other stealth like ability like a stealth kill, you know? But uh, we don't get that in this game. Hey Shadow, welcome to the Everybody Kills Link while he's trying to run from bananas stream again. Hoping to do a lot better this time. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Yeah, big old dudes with the swords, still pretty nasty.
Alright. Hey, there's an arrow. Hey, GTA. Yeah, Shadow, um, I forgot, man. I, I, you might have dozed off yesterday or not. So, the Gerudo town where we had to dress like a woman um, to gain admittance, they have a kind of a shame thing going on right now. The queen, she's got a ceremonial, ceremonial helmet of the Thunder Helm. And they needed me to go find it. And this clan called the Yiga clan, they have pretty much fessed up to being the people that stole it. So the, the mission, the quest, as it were, is I have to go into their hideout and acquire the helmet. It's pretty much straight up standard stealth stuff. So I have not been able to figure out the path as well as I'd like to yet. There are a, f a few things that we can do. One is we can distract them with bombs. Um, we don't want to do any damage to them because that pretty much will wipe us out. But they are easily distracted. He's gonna walk over there and get the bomb there. Yeah. And thanks for joining the stream, GTA. Appreciate it. You're, uh, if you come here to watch the destruction and the death, uh, you are not gonna be disappointed today because I have bitten off a lot more than I can chew. And to kinda be dumb, I guess, or to challenge myself, whatever you want to use. I decided to attempt this portion of the story way earlier in the game than I have seen anyone else really recommend. So the bananas, these guys here are, are completely nutso about them. And you can use them to distract them, and they don't even care if you're running around. So that, that part's the easy part. Getting past those two guys, I got that down to a science. This part is where it all falls apart. And, and the really nasty thing about this is if you should tip off the guards to your location, each guard that's in the patrol spawns two assassin archers. And in this room down here, there's five patrols. So if you get caught, there's 10 archers. There are 15 enemies down there. And five of them can one-shot you, and the other 10 of them can three-shot you. So at least me at this current rate that I'm at with my stats. Fortunately, the game gives you plenty of bananas to rely on since that's their kind of distraction of choice. The other thing that I've been told is I should be able to, and that's the word, should be able to glide from here over to there. here just fine. It's the getting on top of this thing that I've not been able to accomplish yet. It's 
So I'm going to hang out here for just a second while where, where, where they're not able to see me. Kind of get an idea of what their patrol pattern is. Think I can hide between those two boxes? Like right here. I think I'm safe if I get right here. If I get another banana right here. sees that banana. He does. <laughs> Alright guys, I think we might be starting to get into the clear here. least for this room. Oh, that guy right there, huh? I can't hold that here. Why can't I hold that here? I think it was just because I clipped right into it, I think, probably. Don't want to recover any hit points. open. Oh, I think I am screwed, guys. I think I am screwed. Yeah, that's pretty much the worst of it right there. All right. Maybe. Oh, nope. Hi, hi. <laughs> Dead. Okay, so. I think had I not dropped as many bananas in that little corner there, and actually had gone to gather them up, that I wouldn't have attracted the little looky that we got. I think we would have been all right. Grab that bomb. 
I don't think I can see that one. And yeah, guys, this level, it's... Like I said, if this was like, you know, something like Metal Gear, to where I just sneak up behind people and slash their throats, I, I, I don't think I'd be having as, as near a problem with it, or like Assassin's Creed, or any of the games in those kind of franchises. But instead, we're playing Banana Stealth, and that's definitely different. I'm forever the optimist. I'm going to go ahead and loot this chest even yet again. intrigued by it. No. That was just pure luck, guys. I have no clue how I pulled that off, other than just luck. Actually, Shadow, if I was on my other save game, I could stasis those guys. Uh, stasis at the first level only works on inanimate objects. At the second level, it works on monsters. Um, and I believe the Yiga do count as monsters as they're basically followers of Ganon, uh, unbeknownst to them, my understanding. So it would work if I had the higher level of stasis. I don't know if it would alert the guards to stasis them so i don't know if it would help yeah i know right Again with Plan B. 
which is no longer banana, but do everything you can to avoid getting killed by bananas. And that was an arrow shot, so that wasn't too bad. Let's see. Maybe we can not die as badly as we have. Okay. Oh, okay, that's good to know. The big dudes have projectiles also. Got my bananas back. Maybe you start dropping bombs places. Hey, Bull. Thanks for coming by and say hi, man. Appreciate it. Oh, we don't even get the arrow this time, guys. That, that's some, that's some BS. Ha. Yeah, man, that's the reason why it's the breakfast of the wild, dude. Wake up, get some breakfast, watch some Zelda. It's all good. Personally, I think I should be able to detonate those bombs after they pick them up. Blow their underpants right up. Yep. Yeah, man, you won't be disappointed. Um, so far, I have put forth many screw ups on this. So if, if you're here to watch me fail spectacularly, man, it's this is definitely the, the level for me to do it in. Guys, I think the worst of it is this part here. I've practically got down to an autopilot situation now. See that one? Good. And of course. Oh, we want it being flung on the wall this time. Alright, I think. Oh. 
Man, okay. Well, guys. Did it again. Oh. Maybe. Yeah, that's basically the best I can hit those guys, guy. Oh, wow, that's... Alright, let's grab a hold of this wall and just jump up. Maybe that's gonna be the secret. Uh, whoa, wait for that guy to beat up real quick. Just when I thought I was about to cheese out of that, huh? That that uh did not go the way we were hoping. Good if I could free her somehow and let her do all this, but alas, I am the hero. Yeah. I was hoping I had some kind of option, but nope. Nintendo's like, you're gonna stealth this. You're gonna stealth this so hard, you're not gonna be able to do anything else. Yep, that's the way to distract them, man. The bananas, they go nuts for They go ape for them, man. Seriously, monkey noises the whole nine yards. That's the reason why the bananas are such an important tool for this level. And that's the worst part, right, guys? Is This is basically room three, if you'd call it that. And I don't know how many rooms this thing has. I would like to think this is probably the last of the really bad rooms, but um, 
I know better than that. guys They got distracted. They didn't figure out where I was. All right. So now I'm gonna go over here. I'm hoping I got this figured out now. This looks like a trap. Like, my gosh, this looks like a really horrible trap. You're gonna stay here for an hour? Way cool. Appreciate it, Bull James. I'm, oh. Heck yeah. Let's pull this out. Those are real good, so that that's kind of cool that they have more of those here. Um, I will gladly upgrade all my bows to a duplex if I can find them. This other treasure chest out. Let's see, can we save? We still can't save. All right. Scenes. Those are never good. Never good. Oh, 
three hertz. So that's good to know. I, I expected him to hurt guys, but uh, he hit awfully hard. Duplex bow is badly damaged. Looks like this guy is a pushover compared to his other ones. That is definitely good. Spawn in a little ball there. I guess when he gets knocked down on the ground, I can go up there and well on him a little bit. So it's totally based upon the mechanics of the fight. That's kind of sad. Just get the timing down and all's good. Oh. No, it, you cannot heal on your own. Okay. Oh, Magnesis. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I will, I will definitely Magnesis the hell out of you, man. Shit crazy. Hmm. Yeah, the body won't heal on its own in this game, Bull James. You actually have to eat food regardless. Uh, or sleep in a bed. Test magically appears. Wow. Okay. Hey, there's the Thunderhelm. 
guard it with my life until I can return it to read you. Okay. Well, I am all for that. Anything else here, guys? No, nothing there. That is a long ass way down. But in the name of science, we have to go down and take a look at it once we've explored everything up here. All right, apparently it got way super cold. So we're not gonna go up there after all. We're just gonna jump down this hole and hopefully not get splatted by it. Okay. So it's just a death hole. You can't even explore down at the end of it. How un unfortunate. How kind of upsetting, actually. Yeah, man, death holes, they have them all over the place. All right, so at this point, what we're going to do is go into our clothing inventory. We're going to go back into drag. So now we have heat resistance, and we look like a girl. And now we can go back to the capital city. Oh yeah, man. That, that's one thing. There, there's some spots in this game where the mechanics don't quite match up the expectations. But it, it's fine, though. I mean, you, if you think about it, it looks like a bottomless hole. It killed the boss when he fell down in it. So my dumbass decides to jump in the hole. And boom. Yeah. Yeah, I know, Shadow. You are excited as drag. Got my belly dancer uniform on. This is the only way they're gonna let me into town. Now, now the the real bad thing is, right? It's a rented one of these sand seals. I don't think I'm gonna get my insurance deposit back on that thing. Fine. Woman. Nah. <laughs> and though we already know means oh. boy. All right. So the real cool thing, though, right, is this is the hidden city. So that's already the outfit I have, just a different color. I think that's the weather, yeah. Hmm, odd that they sell those here. they can't make that super easy for me right they gotta have the, the queen just not even here so I guess I gotta go find the queen's bedroom or something BS oh. is that something I can pick up nope it's just a little decoration <laughs> oh, Lord you too that's that's just I'm supposed to be entertaining you you guys are entertaining me that's kind of epic
Oh, it's time for memory. So, an aside, main character's got amnesia, and occasionally you'll see something that triggers an old memory. This is the first one we're getting on this playthrough, guys. Ah, well, you certainly got here fast. I should have expected as much from the princess's own appointed knight. She was out on a survey all day today. Still as the sands now. So, spill it, boy. Have the two of you been getting along all right? <laughs> it's okay, I know. Your silence speaks volumes. She gets frustrated every time she looks up and sees you carrying that sword on your back. It makes her feel like a failure when it comes to her own destiny. Don't worry, it's not like you carry blame in any of this. It's unfortunate. She's put in more than enough time. Ever since she was a young girl, she's gone through rigorous daily routines to show her dedication. She once passed out in the freezing waters trying to access this ceiling power. And she has nothing to show for it. That's the motivation driving her research. I'd be doing the same thing. She really is quite special. You be sure to protect her with your life. It's quite the honor. The night brings a chill. It's probably time we take her in. Hmm. Or... Babusa! <laughs> What was that? Did you feel that? Wait, what? How did you... What are you doing here? <laughs> What's so funny? Okay, so Urbasa is uh, pretty much batshit crazy. <gasps> and that's pretty common for a Gerudo woman. You know, that's a good question. Between Zelda and Link, I... It varies from the story because uh, in this one, they don't really come out and say. It appears as though Zelda is the elder between the two. But I'm not sure on that. I know in other games, Zelda is younger. Um, just kind of varies back and forth. I know there's an arrow seller over here. Ah. Mm. Mm. What? Ah. Take them all. Sixty rupees, okay. Oh. through what we need to get through. 
do we have? Yep, we got enough rupees to run another seal. This isn't the seal rental. I thought it was going to be, but turns out I was wrong. Um, no, uh, they're actually not siblings, man. Um, this is definitely not a Luke and Leia Skywalker thing going on in this mortal. The uh, main overarching story for Zelda is that there's three Triforces, three aspects of creation, uh, wisdom, uh, might, or power, how you want to say it, and courage. And Ganon's power, might, whatever you want to call it. Zelda is wisdom, and Link is the courage part. And these three Triforces, Zelda, Link, and Ganon, all wind up kind of getting bonded to or attached to. And every time that they die, be it old age or being defeated or what have you, they become reincarnated into the next incarnation. And it's how we get some of the really crazy um, games that we've gotten in the, the whole entire franchise. I mean, if you really want to, you know, Google it, man. Google the Legend of Zelda timeline. Savak. Oh. Hmm. Uh, sounds like a tremor out in the desert big creature yeah he encouraged people man he uh, what, what he basically you know it's the hero's journey kind of thing he's courageous he's fearless all right Oh, yeah. Let's get on the shield instead. Yeah, you were here for yesterday's stream, were you? Well, yeah, I'm, I am surfing on a seal that swims through sand hey. on my shield. We have to go inside this room. Oh. So on the roof. Let's see what's inside the chest.
All right, man. We're about to start winding down, so I may not be back when you get back, but I'll be right here until then. Twenty bomb arrows, and I bought twenty bomb arrows. adjust the hat because it's too big for it. It's pretty funny. First thing we're gonna do is make sure we have our bomb arrows equipped. Make sure we got a good bow equipped. All right. And still see a little bit better. I'm feeling very underprepared for how to guide this thing. I wish I could stay till 10, man. Unfortunately, I work nights, and so 
this is usually when I call it quits for the day. I myself am actually out in the East Coast. And now Shadow out in Colorado. I did not know that, man. I knew you were somewhere around the parts, but wasn't 100% sure. Unfortunately, I cannot appease Naboris on my own. I have no choice but to entrust the rest to you. Man, that's that's kind of the way these boss fights like that go. Is the the champion? They kind of they run point, they run distraction. You know, she was there with the helmet, being the lightning rod for all the lightning blasts. Well, well, well. You sure do know how to keep a woman waiting. I can't wait to see you take Noboris back from Ganon. One thing at a time. You'll need a map to find your way around. Head over to that Guidance Stone over there. Sounds easy, right? Well, I'll choose to kill this thing real quick because I don't really want to reload my save game tomorrow and have to fight that thing, so... here and get to that guidance stone because why not Actually, about to actually end the stream here. I usually end at about 9, 9, 10, 9, 15, somewhere around this ballpark area. It just depends on what we're doing. So now that we got the, the map. Good work getting the map of the divine. We got a pretty good stop point. The terminals point. that control Naboris are noted by a series of glowing points on your map. Take Naboris back by activating all of the terminals. You're ready for this. I'm going to go ahead and save the game. And that's going to be it, guys, for today. Um, we'll be here tomorrow, same time as always. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Anything you guys want to do to spread the, the word around, would be really appreciated. And like always, guys, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it, guys.